whitefish is all around one of the best tasting fish in the ocean. Now there's also lake whitefish and a little fun fact about lake whitefish is because of their lifespan and because of what they eat, they have a ton of PCBs in their system. So you're actually only supposed to eat one whitefish per year out of the Great Lakes. However, ocean whitefish, unlimited and a good thing because we caught a whole bunch of them. This basic recipe is gonna give you a great full flavor and you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get started. The first step is to line a baking sheet with aluminum foil. Throw your fillets on there, add a little bit of salt, pepper, and drizzle with extra virgin olive oil. Then you're gonna throw your fish in the oven for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we've got our pan at medium low heat and we're going to add in our butter. It's already nice and hot. We're gonna swirl that around and let it melt. Next, we're gonna add in our shallots. We're gonna cook these guys down for about three minutes. Whew. I always feel like I cry more when I'm cooking them at first than I do when I'm cutting them because I'm really emotional about my onions. All right, those are nice and golden brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn off the flame. I'm gonna move it over here away from the heat. Then I'm gonna put the vermouth. Now, if it seems like I'm being a little bit crazy, and going a little bit over the top. If you sprinkled any of that vermouth in, it would act as an accelerant and blow up and I wouldn't have eyebrows and none of you would wanna watch me anymore. So we're not gonna do that. Now I'm gonna move it back over to the heat, get it stirring, and now I can start the flame back up. Okay, now we'll cook this down. Now that this is good and reduced, then we'll add two more tablespoons of butter, but we're gonna do it one at a time. We're just kinda of cooking this down, swirling around the butter, keeping it moving. It almost has a, um, a black licorice smell, which is kind of cool. Literally, I mean, it smells like licorice, which is probably not what you would have expected for a fish. Okay, we're gonna click the heat off, and we're gonna add in our heavy whipping cream and squeeze some lemons. And now this is really gonna thicken up. Once you start adding heavy whipping cream, uh, the health factor kind of goes away, but the taste factor, goes way up. Oh yeah, I like extra lemon on any fish, so I'm gonna drizzle some more over the top. You don't have to do it, but I like it. These tomatoes Jeff had here for decorative purposes, we don't need those. This right here looks like one great bite. Now we left the skin on, oh yeah. That is clean. We left the skin on, that's up to you. I think it makes it easier to cook and also keep some of the juices from escaping out the bottom. That really does help. Don't bother with the decorative tomatoes no matter what Jeff says. Make this recipe, you're gonna enjoy this. And catching white fish or any fish, this recipe is a good fit for. Get out, enjoy nature, enjoy fishing, and enjoy this recipe. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle Green. This is the Green Me Outdoors. Stay green.